It was October 1991 when our sixth project took place. Two sets of Kamach self-propelled transporters were used to transport this 67 meters long column with a weight of 467 tons. With a diameter of 8.5 meters and a foundation that was in the corner formed by two adjacent buildings, it was a rather complex operation to get this giant into vertical position onto the foundation. In Western Europe it is quite common practice to lift these columns with the help of two main lift cranes and a tail crane. Here lifting criteria were however particularly tight. It was not a straight lift upwards but a combination of lifting and slewing of both main lift cranes until the column had reached an elevation at which it could be swung over the adjacent steel construction. Available lifting height was also critical. Therefore the main crane hook was replaced by a lifting grommet which would rotate around the pin in the main lift block during erection. Both transport saddles were lashed on the trailer to avoid tipping and the steel stripes were cut loose. Yes, next time he will wear safety goggles. As usual, the inclinometer at the base ring is installed to monitor the level of both lifting trunnions during the entire lifting operation. Slowly the column is lifted from the trailers so that the self-propelled transporters with saddles can be rolled out of the way. The advantage of the self-propelled transporters is that it can drive sideways as well as forwards. All maneuvering is controlled by a portable remote control unit. Lifting of the column continued until it had reached the elevation of the adjacent building. While the transporters are driven away, the load on the main lift cranes is increasing and additional counterweight has to be installed on the superlift tray. With the top of the column just above the structure of the nearby building, both cranes slowly lift and swing until both lifting trunnions are exactly above the foundation. At the same time a close watch is kept on the inclinometer. The DMAC CC2400 tail crane is slowly following and keeps the base ring of the ground. Slewing of both main lift cranes is not required anymore and it is now just a straight lift upwards. The same procedure repeats itself. Lift the column high enough and keep both lifting trunnions at a horizontal level. Then swing the top of the column in between both boom heads. Slight luffing of both main booms can be done to increase the clearance. To facilitate lowering over the foundation bolts, cone pipes were placed over three bolts to act as guides.
alignment is checked, bolts are tightened and cranes released. Another column safely placed onto its foundation.